Hello, hello and welcome back sa Pinoy How To's. I'm very excited na gawin itong video na ito kasi ito yung first video out of hopefully 365 videos na aming gagawin in the next year. Well, hopefully until December of next year. It is our commitment na makagawa ng video every day and since hindi kami makahintay to execute yung commitment namin na gumawa ng video every day, Sisimulan natin ngayon, ngayon December 15. So ayan, as you can see, it's December 15. Simulan na natin. So ang video nito is about Word Basics, uh, Microsoft Word. This video ay para sa mga hindi masyadong familiar sa Word. I'm sure maraming familiar sa Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all those. Pero like we do sa mga Pinoy how-tos natin, we cater dun mula sa kahit nasa bundok ka or nasa city or kung saan ka man. We try to do as many Pinoy how-tos na video as we can, whether na simple bagay ito or complicated. Gagawa natin ng video ang lahat. Okay, so now, like I said, ito yung gagawa natin, Microsoft Word. So, on, in this video, ituturo ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung mga basics ng Word. I'm sure I'm not gonna cover everything kasi it's gonna take hours, pero sa video na ito, I tuturo ko lang yung mga fundamentals uh, so to get you started. So, kung meron kang word sa yung taskbar, ito yung taskbar. Kung meron kang word or W na ganyan na icon, click mo lang yan to open word. Or you can search here also, type mo word. Yun, kung lalabas ito, then you have word. Kung wala naman, then wala kang word, Microsoft Word. Ang Microsoft Word ay kasama sa Microsoft Office Suite which includes yung Outlook, Access, PowerPoint, Publisher, Excel, and all that. And pwede mo rin palang hanapin dito when you click here. Makikita, mag-scroll down ka lang dito and you're gonna see sa bandang W na nandun yung Word. Kung wala yan, then you don't have Word. And by the way, I'm using 2016 the version, I think. So, kung wala yung... I mean, yung video na ito is still applicable dun sa mga 2013 na Word, meron lang slight differences. So, click natin to open. Meron lang slight differences. So, this is still applicable. Uh, you're still gonna get something out of this. So, video na ito. Whether you have 2010, 2013, or whatever. Okay, so, pagka-open natin, we can start yung... Word with a blank document. Kung you uh, if you wanna start ng mag start ka ng some document na walang laman, or ang ganda nito ay meron silang maraming templates. Ayan, mag scroll down tayo. Maraming pre made na mga templates na sila. So, ayan, if you wanna look at business templates, click mo yung business. Ayan, merong letter and envelope, merong business letter. Ang ganda nito kasama pa yung envelope. So, ito meron din silang trifold brochure. Kung gusto mong gumawa ng brochure o yung invoice, ito, mga labels and whatnot. Or business cards. Meron yan. Gagawin ko kayo ng mga videos about these down the line. So, for now, back to basics muna tayo. I'm gonna teach you yung basics. By the way, ito, kung... Gusto nyo gumawa ng resume, meron ng pre-made na resume, kailangan nyo lang palitan yung ibang mga elements. And I could teach you how to do all of that sa ating mga videos in the future. Okay? And pwede rin kayong mag-search ng mga other templates kung gusto nyo. I-type nyo lang dito and it's gonna search online. Or for education, meron din. Ayan, education brochure. Marami magaganda. Like, look, exit tickets public speaking, peer review, etc. So, let's start with a blank document for now. Para may turo ko sa inyo yung mga basics. So, pag nag-start kayo ng Word document, ang title niya ay Document 1. Pero hindi pa yun nakasave sa inyong uh, hard drive, sa inyong computer. I, like, when you create a document, Ang una niyong gawin ay file, save as. Tip ko lang ito ah. File, save as, tapos ilagay niyo sa inyong computer. Pwede sa documents or sa desktop. Sa desktop, kung yan yung click ninyo, ay ilalagay yan sa inyong 
uh, screen. Ay, papakita ko sa inyo mamaya. I'm sorry kung I'm talking like uh, masyadong basic yung sinasabi ko, but I'm just trying to cater sa mga pinaka-basic yung ano, experience sa word. Because, you know, I want everybody to have the same experience or same yung knowledge sa word. So, if this is if you're wanting an advanced na tutorial about word, um, hanapin yung yung ibang videos natin about word. Okay, please. And like I said, this is for basic uh, users and these uh, power users. Okay, so let's say in title natin, um, in topic natin, uh, states of matter, right? Click save and yan naka save yan sa ting desktop, which I'll show you in a bit. So yan, states of matter, i-minimize natin, ayan siya. Ito, don't worry about this, kapag naka-open yung file natin, mag magkakaroon ng ganyan. Kapag kinlose natin yung file, ay mawawala yan. Tignan nyo. See? Nawala siya. So to open it again, kung gusto natin i-edit, or open ulit, ayan siya. Click this to maximize. So, ayan ulit ang ating document. The reason na nag-save tayo kaagad ay kasi maraming mga tao, <laughs> ang dami ko ng uh, kaibigan, even pamilya na, ang dami ng tinipe, nakailang pages na sila, and then all of a sudden nag-crash yung computer nila or nawala ng kuryente or whatever. Tapos, biglang namatay ang computer. So, yung 3 pages, 5 pages na work nila dahil hindi nila sinave, bigla na lang nawala so kung ilang oras man nilang ginawa yan wala uh, wala lang <laughs> nabali wala yung work nila so yung size nito usually uh, tingnan nyo muna yung size nya baka kung importante sa inyo kung anong size ng document ninyo usually ito ay 8.5 by 11 sometimes A4 yung size nila to find out kung ano yung size ng yung document click nyo yung layout na tab and then, so this is 8.5 by 11, by, uh, like I said. Um, ito yung legal size, 8.5 by 14, and there's also a 4. So make sure you have the right one na gusto ninyo para kapag nag-print kayo, hindi, masyad, hindi siya palpak. <laughs> Kasi kung naka A4 pala ito, tapos nag-print kayo, nakala nyo yung paper is 8.5 by 11, magkakaroon kayong maraming space dito sa baba. Ito instead na sentrong sentro you know what i'm saying so okay let's start sa una okay ito yung like i said ito yung document natin and sometimes it's good na makita ng mas malaki so ito yung pag zoom out cha zoom in so i slide nyo lang itong bar para lumaki yan or slide to the left para paliitin ng konti ako gusto ko kasi naki Usually, nakaganyan siya. And that's not good. Um, masyado malaki. So, I usually set it to 100%. And I turn on yung ruler. Para alam ko kung saan yung or I am sa paper. So, to do that, go to view. Click ruler. Ayan siya. So, ito yung inches. By default, yung layout niya, naka, yung margin niya all around is 1 inch sa taas dito and 1 inch dito sa sides left and right at saka 1 inch 1 inch sa bottom ito okay and ito yung cursor natin dito tayo pwedeng mag start na mag type but before we do that let me introduce to you yung ribbon at saka yung mga tabs so itong mga to ang tawag dito ay tabs okay yun yung mga tabs and every tab meron silang ribbon ito yung mga ribbon natin Ito yung ribbon pala. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka... Yung sa home, it, dito usually yung mga elements na pinaka kailangan natin commonly, usually. Pero of course, gagamitin natin yung a lot of different elements sa iba't ibang tab. So, every tab, meron silang groups. Uh, ito yung ribbon, like I said. Meron din silang groups. Ito yung group ng pages, group ng tables, illustration group, media, links, okay, etc. Makikita nyo yan dyan. So, kung hindi nila ma... Kasi yung Microsoft ang kaya... <laughs> kaya mayaman si Bill Gates. 
I said they thought about everything. Is uh, well, I mean, it's my opinion. Nah, they really thought about a lot. Of, like, kait na yung mga things na we w- don't even need. I they thought about it and binigyan tayo ng options. So, daming options yan. <laughs> it's mind-boggling. It's like they're really smart. So, like this. So, paragraph. Let's say wala yan yung mga inahanap nating mga options. Pwede natin i-click yung paragraph, yung launch button, which is this one, or kung sa font, um, kailangan pa natin ng ibang options, i-click, i-click lang natin yung launch button, and it's gonna give us more options. Like kung gusto natin may strike through, yun, or double strike through, sabi sa inyo, they've thought about everything. Or kung gusto natin going all caps yung ating letters, ganyan siya. So, I wish meron ng computer nung <laughs> nasa high school ako. It would have saved me a lot of time tsaka papel and frustration kasi ang dami kong mali nun sa aking pagtatype. So, <laughs> um, ang dami kong nagastos. Sana nagpatype na lang ako. But, going back to our lesson, let's say term paper ito or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything kasi I'm just showing you kung ano yung pwede natin gawin dito, okay? So, let's say, lagay natin yung pangalan natin, Patrick Mayo. And, ang date, ay, hit the tab button sa left side ng ating keyboard. And, today is December 15. Kung i-enter natin yan, kahit walang 2018, kuk- ilalagay nyo yung 2018. Ayan siya yun nga lang, dahil konti, ito yung margin natin, so hanggang dyan lang siya, pumunta na siya sa next line. So, ang gagawin natin kapag ganyan, punta tayo dito sa unang letter, before, right before yung unang letter, and hit natin yung backspace sa keyboard. Yan, bibigyan tayo ng more space para i-fit yung 2018. But, ito yung ating indention, so yung ating margin. Usually, ang date ay nasa first line yung date so itanggalin na lang natin yung ito okay and ibalik okay ibalik natin to gawin natin first line yung december 15 okay ang paglalagay sa pinaka right na margin or side ay hindi yung pag tab 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 and lalong hindi yung pag space bar space bar space bar space bar matagal yan and usually you're not even gonna get yung gusto nyong result so yung gawin natin ay para ilagay siya dun sa pinaka right na side ay click natin itong right align or align right kapag may nakikita kayong ganito yung uh, control plus r that means pwede nyong i- uh, shortcut yan hotkey para hindi nyo nagamitin yung mouse ninyo so a lot of people kasi mas gustong ginagamit yung keyboard shortcuts shortcuts instead na yung mouse kasi ayaw nilang mag-reach sa mga elements dito so press natin i-click natin yan and that's gonna take us there so yung next line natin of course since naka right align tayo yung cursor nilagay niya sa right side so para bumalik tayo sa left align click natin yun and now we're here Patrick Maya. Okay. Again. Okay. So, like I said, um, going back to the ribbon, yung mga tabs natin, ito yung home, yung mostly um, elements na common natin ginagamit na nandyan or gagamitin in the future. And, nandito yung insert. If you want to insert na table, yan. If you can see, and kung gusto nyo mag-insert ng picture, pwede rin. And kung gusto nyo mag-insert ng chart, even better. I love charts. So, just to give you an example, ganyan, and then ipaprocess nya. And there we go. And pwede nyo nang ilagay kung anong data na gusto nyo dito and change the category para i-change nyo yung mga categories na yan. So, with this alone, you're becoming like a hero <laughs> sa office ninyo or sa class ninyo. Just, you know, just with a simple thing. Just knowing these, it's gonna impress your t- 
teammates or yung mga katrabaho niyo or yung boss niyo, you know, being able to do this simple thing. Okay, so para okay, nas nandito yung cursor natin uh, para pumunta tayo dito sa next line. Press natin yung enter. And and since this is not centered, kapag meron tayong gustong sentro tulad ng mga to, i-click natin yung gusto nating center like this one. So now meron tayong mga dots or mga circles here. Ibig sabihin, i-control natin, pwede nating i-control or yung mga formatting gagawin natin ma-apply sa buong element na to. So, just like what we did with the letters, the characters, control E natin or center, click natin to. And yan, pupunta sa center. Okay? Like I said, we're working on states of matter, yung ating subject. Kunyari, to go back dun sa taas, let's say, oh, nakalimutan ko yung title. You could just use your arrow key na pataas. And from here or use your mouse so punta ako dito sa pinaka huli nito nung last character ng line then press ko yung enter yan so now I have a new line so click natin yung center or ilagay natin yung title ng ating document states stay <coughs> of matter right okay and pwede natin gawin dito, this is what I like about Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Word. Pwede natin i-highlight yan, or we can also go here to highlight the whole line. And pwede natin i-apply yung style. See? A lot of different things we can do with it. Or, yung actually ginagawa ko. Let's say, ito yung mga fonts na pwede natin gamitin. Uh, hindi niya makikita dyan sandali. So, ilagay ko muna dito sa right para makita niya so again highlight ko and let's see how it changes ayan so kung ano mang mapili nyong ano dito font name or style papakita niya sa inyo kung paano yung itsura niya how it looks like usually sa mga formal na documents hindi masyadong gagamitin tong mga iba't ibang mga fonts na ganito Igagamitin mo lang Arial, Calibri, or yung mga Romans, uh, ano tawag dun? Times New Roman, or Tahoma, ganun. Gusto ko yung Tahoma. So, kung di nyo, alam nyo yung font name, and so you don't have to look for it, type nyo lang dito, Tahoma, and then press enter. Yan siya. And, para palakihin natin, click nyo lang yung, or hover over dun sa font number. Yan, tama na yan, 14. And let's put it back sa center. So, mukhang title nga. And kung gusto nyo i-bold, highlight nyo ulit. And click yung B for bold. And if you want to underline it, ayan siya. And kung gusto nyo i-italicize, pwede rin. Ayan. Pero since that's the title, ayaw kong i-italicize. Okay, states of matter. Para bigyan natin ng more space between the title and yung chart, press natin yung enter. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple yung paggamit ng word and of course, kung let's see, para hindi na ako mag-isip kung anong itatype ko, punta na lang natin uh, punta, na, punta na lang tayo sa Google para bigyan tayo ng something to type, para lang mabigyan ko kayo ng example uh, no. ng mga pwede natin gawin Okay, so states of matter. Okay, just to keep it simple. So let's say na Google tayo, gusto nating ligay yung states of matter. I know there's more than three states of matter, pero ligay na lang natin yung solid, liquid, gas. So solid, enter, liquid, enter, gas. So from here, kung gusto nating ilagay, kung gusto nating mag-type ng definition niya or about uh, some a paragraph about it, i enter natin, hit natin enter, then start typing dito. Okay. What? Sorry. Uh, Nag-alt tab ako. Ilagay natin dito ito sa side. Para nakikita natin pareho. Ok. 
Okay. So, ito yung Word document natin. Ito yung Google. Paliitin ka lang ng konti. Huh. So, ayun siya. So, let's say, kumakopya ka sa Google. Kung gusto mong kumopya sa Google, which is plagiarism, kung kukunin mo ng word for word or character by character. But, since, let's say, this is just for your own purpose. Lagay natin dito. Highlight natin yung text. Hanggang dito sa volume. Period. Right click. Copy. And then, lagay natin dito. Click. Right click and paste as value keep text only kasi kung gagamitin natin yung ibang for, uh, formats magkakaroon yun ng code in the background na ayaw natin yung formatting so text lang yung kunin natin yung paste natin so there it is ngayon kung let's say ito gusto natin bigyan ng emphasis let's say yung very low kinetic energy highlight natin and pwede nating underline or pwede nating ibahan yung um, font color niya click dito and let's make it green yan ganun lang and ito kung gusto nating gawing bold yan hindi masyadong lata kapag ganyan eh so, pwedeng underline or let's say, ayaw natin to. Oh, okay. Kung gusto kong baguhin ulit, igawin kong ganito yung font niya, hindi yung nakabold. Pwedeng i-highlight ko ulit. Then, tanggalin ko yung pagkakabold by clicking yung B. Or, i-undo ko lang. Yung undo kasi, whatever you do, like let's say, I start typing here. And, nagkamali ako. Oh, gusto kong revert back dun sa dati kong ginawa or i-undo ko or tanggalin ko yung last action ko click lang yung undo or control z sa yung keyboard and matatanggal yan and if I click another time, one more time ma-undo pa rin yung next na nangyari or action na nangyari and if I'll keep undoing, ayun matatanggal and if I'll undo again ayun magiging bold ulit yun and if I'll undo ulit Magiging, and, um, it's gonna go back to how it was before and if I undo pa again if you get you get the gist right and you get what I'm saying so kung gusto natin i redo naman or you know, to move forward ito yung redo or control y click it click it and gagawin ulit yung mga ginawa natin ahead okay so ganun lang para tanggalin yung word instead na backspace Let's say, gusto nating tanggalin to hanggang dito. Uh, erase natin to hanggang dun sa the. Instead na backspace, backspace na ganyan sa ating keyboard, i-highlight nyo na lang yung gusto nyo tanggalin. Mula dito hanggang, uh, hold natin yung mouse sa left. And i-drag natin yung mouse hanggang dito sa gusto nating tanggalin na mga characters. And press delete or backspace. Matatanggal siya. Okay. And, okay, I, I wanna undo that Kasi gusto ko yung nakasulat dito <laughs> So, lagyan natin yung liquid Nasaan yung liquid? In liquids Okay, ito yung paragraph about liquid Enter And then paste And for gas, enter uh, let's say gases hanggang dito na lang ilagay natin kunin natin right click copy click again and then right click and then paste so yan meron na tayong article may minimize natin to zoom out para makita natin yung ating paper okay we could do some more cleaning up sa document natin okay if you wanna edit this para magamit nyo yung chart right click lang then edit data and edit data data and from there you can edit yung mga gusto yung gawin dito or ilagay na titles categories let's say um solid liquid gas plasma again so 
click X dun sa Excel and siya nag-change yung ating mga items or titles and even yung chart na to you can uh, use other styles ayan kung gusto yung pagandahin and you can change it to that and or this this ayan mas formal but white is king so as much as possible gawin nyo na lang na white siya it's yung background para malinis right but it's up to you how you want to use it okay eto kung nakikita nyo yung ating paragraph marami siyang ano dito like and parang bungi bungi siya dito so kung gusto nyo i-flatten yun o gawing pantay pantay tulad nito para mas maganda siya mas magandang tignan highlight nyo yung buong paragraph so i-click nyo mula dito sa una hanggang sa huli or vice versa mula sa huli hanggang sa unang letter and i-click natin tong pantay pantay and click out of it ayan pantay na dito sa left I mean sa right and then pantay na dito sa left and we can do the same with this and also this part right so and sya so mas magandang tingnan ngayon since na mga ano to yung mga categories or yung mga subtopics sub natin you can bold it or like I said you can use this para lakihin sila or you can also oops sorry e ito sya yung mga ibang formatting natin na pwede uh, which you could use if you want pero you can also do this solid yan iba ibang format na pwedeng gamitin let's use this yan solid tapos ito naman gamitin din natin yun liquid and gas parang iyo ako um, let's go back so undo natin undo undo okay ganun lang sya okay I like this one medyo siguro lakihan natin ng konti make it 14 pwede nyo rin palang gamitin itong mga buttons na to kung gusto nyo by increment sila so kung paliitin ganun pwede palakihin ganun so or just jump to 14 and this one highlight jump to 14 parang hindi sila pareho na naka bold sya so kung gusto nyo i-copy ito yung formatting nito highlight nyo lang sya and double click this format painter and i-highlight nyo yan i-highlight nyo yan bakit? okay and then click on it again para matanggal yung formatting natin sa mouse bakit? parang hindi 14 to hindi kinapi yung 14 okay i-gawin natin 14 maybe because ginawa natin 11 kanina so yan it's looking good it's looking better yung ating document also kung gusto nyong lagyan ng ano yan alam nyo yung page numbers let's say you have like 10 pages so yung gagawin nyo lang is insert oh let's say okay gusto natin mag insert ng picture ng liquid ng liquid dito example ng liquid insert tayo ng picture para may example tayo ng liquid oh yun ito okay let's say ito yung ginamit natin right Masyadong malaki yan. Ito yung document natin if you scroll up. Palakihin natin para makita nyo. Makita nyo. Okay, so ito yung first page natin. If you scroll down, nandun yung document natin. And you can't even move ito. Ang hirap. So, yung gawin natin, make sure nakaklik yan. Click nyo. Like that. Para lumitaw itong mga bilog-bilog sa mga side. And then, click natin itong isang corner and i-drag natin pa pasok ayun isa pa ayun sya ang problema lang ay nasa ano sya nasa in between or dahil malaki to kinuha yung space eh, kasi kinuha yung space ng itong buong space at nilaki yan para magkasya to what we can so ngayon itong ating continuation ng line na to pumunta dito sa baba niya 
ang pwede natin gawin so now if you look at it kung yung zoom out ko pangit siyang tignan right ang magandang gawin dyan ay right click natin yung document oh by the way kailangan lang natin dyan ay liquid kasi liquid lang yung pinapakita natin so how about we just crop this one yung docu yung picture natin i uh, putulin natin yung ito lang itong liquid lang kailangan natin so let's go to format and then crop and bibigyan tayo ng mga lines hanggang dito pwede uh, ito sabihin natin kung hanggang saan natin gustong putulin saan siya pumunta ayun ipalaki natin para makita niya sorry and crop pa natin pataas and then hit enter ayun so liquid lang yung picture natin so from here we can drag this here kaya lang pangit siya see right click natin kung wala ito pero since nandito na ito let's click on it and wrap natin yung text around sa ating picture yan so this is very helpful yan o tignan nyo see kung gusto nyo ilagay yung picture nyo dito if you're talking about yourself that's very good or you can also put it here para sa term paper ninyo and it'll look more professional ayan sya ganyan lang yung ginagawa nila sa mga nakikita nyong books and documents right so and even with this pwede nyong pagandahin para ilagay nyo yung sariling style nyo ayan may parang shadow sya or kung gusto nyong lagyan ng let's see and or pwede rin parang naka, nasa salamin uh, may reflection sya gusto ko yun yata okay tanggalin ko na lang so ayan pwede nang ganyan right so if we zoom out ito yung itsura ng ating document that's looking better and like I said sorry na ano ako um, naligaw ako kanina um, I was talking about kung may dalawa kayong pages right or more than one page and gusto nyong i tag dito lagyan ng pages Let's say, dagdagan natin ito kung ano natin, yung letters natin, yung paragraph para, ano tag dito? Para magkaroon tayo ng second page. So, kapag lumampas tayo sa first page, gagawin yan, it'll just keep going hanggang, I mean, it's just gonna give you a second page. So, ayan siya. If you look down here, nakasulat page 2 of 2. Ang tinitignan mo ngayon ay page 2 of 2, 425 na yung words natin. Like I said, like I said, magaling talagang Microsoft. I mean, tignan nyo. It's giving us yung words natin kagad. So, if your instructor says, okay, kailangan ko ng 1,000 words na paper, at least now you know you have 425 words na na nailagay. And it's also gonna, it could also tell you how many characters you have already typed. Pero, you don't, I don't think you're gonna need that. So, also, kung itong object, Let's say, na-misspell natin to. O, let's say, oblek yung nalagay natin. Ayan, sasabihin sa atin by putting yung wiggly lines dun sa ano, yung red wiggly lines sa baba. Saying, hey, are you sure this is what you wanna type? So, yung gawin natin, kapag, um, kapag natapos na tayo na mag-type, press nyo lang yung F7 sa keyboard or, is it this one? Yeah. Check na, click, natin, click natin yung tab na review and then spelling and grammar which is F7 sabi sa inyo eh. okay click nyo yan and it's gonna highlight yung lahat ng mali natin and ang galing dyan din ng ano ng Microsoft ay ibibigyan tayo ng mga options kung ano yung ibig mong sabihin maybe this is what you meant object or objects or oblast sabihin mo lang right so Click, since na yun yung gusto kong gamitin, object, click change, or pwede mo i-double click na lang yan. Ayan, pinalitan niya na object. And now it's saying spelling and grammar complete, check is complete. So, click OK. Kung meron ka pang maraming ano, mali dito, it's gonna keep highlighting yung mga mali mo. And it's gonna keep giving you, yung, giving you options kung ano yung pwedeng uh, words na maybe you meant to say, right? 
or kung gusto mong magmukhang magaling <laughs> um, if you want to impress people sa vocabulary mo then you can let's say uh, let's see oh, let's say yung tightly ito gusto mong palitan yung word na tightly or kung kinopya mo lang to sa internet and gusto mong palitan yung ibang words para hindi ma-search ng teacher mo yung exact na pinuntahan mo or to check or to know uh, para hindi ka mahuli na nag-plagiarize ka lang or kumopya ka lang sa internet gamitin mo itong thesaurus and it's gonna give you other words tulad nyan, firmly so already tied so firmly is okay we can use all these other words na, na synonym dito sa tightly so we can use firmly, strongly, forcefully, closely uh, whichever fits sa ating context diba? I mean, you can't be using like harshly kung hindi naman nagfit sa ating context. So just be careful. But I think for me that's a very very good tool na gamitin yung tightly ay yung thesaurus ng word. Like I said, word count is here. So uh, look up yung mga ribbon natin dito and tignan nyo kung ano pa yung pwede nyo gamitin and um, go to each tab ayan merong mga grid lines navigation pane etc etc but just find the ones that you need and try to apply them hindi niyo masisira yung word believe me so ah okay i digress again so yung ano natin yung pages all right let's go back to the pages kung gusto yung mag-insert ng page 1 of 2 or page 1 page 2 ganun dito sa bottom ng ating mga pages ng ating document dito um, pwede yan click insert or I mean page number pwedeng lagay sa top as that galing yan ah, tingnan nyo nasa left na top or sa middle top kung gusto nyo center uh, or sa right or you can even have it na ganito yung style nya one page or page one dito page 1 of 1 ganun or but since i like pages sa bottom ng mga documents pwede nating ito na lang bottom of page and let me scroll down mm, let's see page 1 of 1 gusto ko to ito so bottom right corner ng ilalagay niya page 1 of 1 page 1 of uh, 2 of 1 of 2 ganun ang litaw nito Okay, so let's click it. Yun, page two of oh, page one of two. And kung scroll down tayo sa ating second page, ilalagay yan, page two of two. See? There. So, let's go back up and close natin yung close header. I mean, click natin yung close header and footer para bumalik tayo sa ating document. So, if we zoom out, makikita natin ang ating document, mga page 1 of 2 okay, good alright, we're almost done um, like I said, this is just basics ng ating word I'm gonna teach you some more stuff about word in the next videos um, ang gagawin natin ngayon kung gusto nyo i-print ito i-click nyo yung file oh, by the way, save nyo muna, okay ito yung save um, for you millennials or maybe yung mga um, mas nakakabata, this disk right here Ganyan kasi yung mga floppy disk dati, kaya ganyan ang itsura ng save, yung icon, yung picture para sa save. Ang ibig sabihin yan, save. It's just save to disk, ang ibig sabihin yan. Ganyan, like I said, ganyan yung uh, itsura ng mga disk dati na ginagamit namin, kaya yun, nagstick na lang yan. <laughs> okay, so you can just click on that to save your document. Ayan, na-save na siya. Or you can click file, save. And you can also use other ways. Um, ito, kung meron kayong OneDrive, which is free, I would use it if I were you. Or you can just use it to your des uh, save it to your PC or desktop or documents, wherever you want. And you can also save it as a PDF, which is very helpful. So, yung mga resume, ginagawa akong PDF para hindi makopya ng madal madalian. So, yan, PDF files state of matter click save and now it's converting it to PDF 
And kung wala kayong PDF reader or maker, you can download that. Or I'll I'll create another video kung paano i-install yung PDF sa inyong computer if you want. Okay. So ayun yung PDF natin. I-minimize natin yung Google Chrome. Ayun. So ayun yung PDF natin. If you're not very familiar with PDF, I got another video explaining what PDF is and how you can use it. It's very very good. Um close. And shan the save siya sa ating desktop kasi dyan natin siya sinave. So going back to our word, kung gusto niyo i-print like I said, click file and then print. Ayan. Ito yung first page, ito yung second page. But if you zoom in, it's gonna get bigger. And since wala akong attached na printer, hindi kasi ako dito nagpa-print. So, i-click natin yung print dito or kung meron ka pang gustong baguhin dito just do it here let's say gusto mong double sided yung, yung page you click mo yung print double sided dito and this is only this is only gonna give you yung print double sides kung nakaconnect ka sa printer na uh, na may function na double sided uh, kaya yung binibigay sa akin yung manual print on both sides so okay and then click print and it's gonna print your document pagkatapos nun click mo lang yung back and then you, it's gonna take you back sa yung word document okay so I hope this helps you in some way and oh lastly pala kung gusto nyo let's say plasma or let's say okay sa ating solid kung gusto nyo mag enumerate ng examples ng solid examples right you type nyo dyan and then press enter pwede kayong maglagay ng bullet points click lang dito it's examples of solid um, um, items or materials are let's say keyboard monitor um, phone and kung gusto nyo naman let's scroll down sa so liquid naman let's say okay so punta tayo sa pinakahuli to go to the next line press enter examples um, press enter kung gusto nyo hindi double I uh, mean bullet points or kung gusto nyo palitan yung bullet points nyo pwede rin ganito para may style naman diba so examples ng liquid ay soft drinks mm, water and milk diba and pwede rin gawing numbers yan let's say highlight natin palitan natin na number ayan sya and kung gusto nyo i-indent actually kung ganyan yung numbering natin let's say gusto pang natin i-break down yung soft drinks let's do another line press enter and click natin to or press tab and it's gonna give us a sub bullet I mean a bullet since we're using numbers gen so sabihin natin coke pepsi mountain dew Ganyan. And uh, even further, kung gusto natin i-break down yung coke, uh, hit, just hit tab. Ayan. So, iba na naman yung bullet natin. Uh, diet regular. So, that's how powerful word is. Kung gagamitin natin yung notepad or kung magta-type tayo sa typewriter or <laughs> like how it was before nung bata ako, this would have been like maraming trabaho and ang ganda pa nito you know you can just save your work hindi mo na kailangang i-bond uh, yun ang tawag dun hindi mo na kailangang gumamit ng carbon <laughs> carbon paper or what not uh, para i-duplicate yung, yung work or i-copy so you, you could just start printing as many copies as you want di ba so oh by the way and if you wanna like let's say you wanna highlight this electrons of each atom are in motion e use this e use new lanta okay now it's highlighted and like i said you know strike through kung gusto nyo strike through ito let's say gusto nyo cross lang 
Yan, strike through. And what else can we do? Um, yun na muna yung ituturo ko ngayon. Oh, by the way, yeah, yung cut and, copy and paste, alam nyo na yun, tinuro ko kanina. Uh, it's just like this. So, kung gusto nating kopihin to, or gusto nating kopihin tong line na to, highlight natin, click sa una hanggang sa huli, Real, let go, left click, I mean right click, copy, or no, no. kung gusto nating tanggalin, i-cut na lang natin and paste. Yung copy kasi, kakapi nyo lang yan, but this line is gonna stay here, yung sentence na yan, magstay dyan. Pero kung i-cut natin, mawawala, parang delete sya dyan, see? And then, if you're gonna paste it here, click, right click, then paste, um, it's gonna move there. Pero kung nag-copy paste lang tayo, magstay yung sentence dito, and kung pag paste natin dito, magpa-paste din dito, so dalawa yung sentence natin. Okay, I hope that makes sense, and I hope you learned a lot sa ating uh, lesson today. I got a lot more to teach sa inyo, and we're gonna save those for the next video. Uh, like I said, we are committed to making videos para sa inyo every day um, for the next year, so hopefully, Lord willing, we could give you those videos every day. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.